What's up guys? I have another fun festival look for you. This one's a little bit more wearable for those who maybe don't think that they can get away with the last one. I really love this look. I love it. It's so dope. Oh my gosh. I will definitely be doing this again because it was so much fun. I'm putting it in the festival category, but obviously, you know, you can wear this anytime you want to. This is not just for festival. As some of you guys know, today's video is sponsored by Pantene. We have the new gold series on deck. Now, let me give you a quick backstory to this because I know some of you guys had some questions on my Instagram. This is created specifically for black hair, black relaxed, natural and transitioning hair. But what I really found interesting and what I really liked about this line was that they actually partnered with black scientists in order to get it right. So I really like that they invested back into black people to make it authentic and to make sure the product works. So that really intrigued me right off the bat. Then I decided, okay, well, before I give this a try, let me go look online and see if it has really good reviews. And pretty much all the reviews I saw, they loved it. So I was like, okay, Send me the bottles, let me give it a try, and if I like it, I'll do the video. So here I am, I liked it. This product line is really, really good. And yes, the ingredients are different from what I usually use, but there's a lot of people who watch my videos who are not just into natural products, and this is not the first time that I have used a product that wasn't 100% natural. So just putting that out there, I try to provide information for people across the board. And I have to say that I was really pleasantly shocked with how well this line worked in my hair. So anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. It's a super easy and cute look. So this is definitely a more wearable look for those who are a little scared on the last festival video. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you after. Bye. All right guys, you know the deal. I'm using my general washing methods and routine, but this time we'll be using products only from the Pantene Gold series line. I did my normal pre-poo, which is linked below, and today we're gonna cleanse the scalp using the Pantene Gold Series Deep Hydrating Sulfate Free Co-Wash, working it into my scalp and making sure to remove any leftover buildup. Unraveling my twists and rinsing away all of that product and leftover residue. And this left my hair feeling really soft. Grabbing the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Conditioner and I'm not shy with this, I never am. I apply this generously all over the hair, working it into every strand. And this conditioner has great slip, so working one section at a time, I use it to detangle my hair with my fingers. When the section is detangled and all the conditioner is rinsed out, we apply our deep conditioner. Today I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Repairing Mask and applying it generously all over the section. Twist the section up so it doesn't tangle and wrap it into a bantu knot for safekeeping as we work on another section. Now repeat, grab another section of hair, use a Pantene Moisture Boost Conditioner to soften and detangle. When the tangles are out, follow up with the Pantene Repairing Mask as your deep conditioner. Twist the section up and wrap into a bantu knot to keep it out of the way. When my entire head is detangled and covered in that repairing mask, I sit with the plastic cap on my head for 30 minutes to one hour to let the product do its thing. After about an hour, my twists were super soft and ready to be rinsed. So as always, I'm working one section at a time. Rinse out that repairing mask nice and thoroughly. Balance the hair's pH with a generous spritz of pure aloe vera juice. And now I'm gonna seal that moisture in using the Pantene Gold Series Intense Hydrating Oil. I used about three pumps of this per section and worked it into every strand. Now what's great about this oil is that it doesn't leave a greasy residue, so no need to rinse it out. Just work it in well. Next, I'm grabbing the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Detangling Milk, which is a nice thick consistency, and I apply it evenly throughout the section. And lastly, locking in all that hydration and moisture using the Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream. This has a nice creamy texture that helps to soften the hair when applied. Working that in well, now twist the section up and wrap it into a bantu knot to keep it out of the way. Next, I just repeated the same exact process to the rest of those twists on my head. Now that all my twists have been rinsed, sealed, and softened, we can begin to style. All right, so as you can see, I'm starting out on stretched hair. I, of course, used my heatless blowout method, which I'll link for you in the description box. 
But this time I used the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Detangling Milk and that hydrating buttercream to help moisturize and seal while I stretched my hair. Making a clean part from the crown of my head down behind my ear and clipping the rest of the hair out of the way. Now repeat on the other side. I'm gathering all my hair in the back and clipping it out of the way so that I can focus solely on the front. Making a straight part right down the middle. And now I'm creating a row of hair about a half an inch thick. Applying a bit of that leave-on detangling milk to soften and smooth. And then I simply cornrow the hair from front to back. I braid all the way down until I get to the very end. And at the end, I like to twist the hair rather than braid because I feel like it causes less damage. Creating another row of hair in the middle right next to that cornrow, about a half an inch thick. Re-moisturizing with the leave-on detangling milk. And then I cornrow the hair back. If you'd like a detailed video on how to cornrow your hair, I left a link in the description box for you to check out. Braiding the hair down to the end, then twisting the hair to finish it off. All right, so the middle is complete. Now we're gonna work one side at a time in the front. I make a horizontal part over my ear to create a row that's about half an inch thick. Now I'm gonna create another cornrow, but this time I'm gonna braid it from back to front. This look is very Fulani inspired if you couldn't tell. So just cornrow from back to front, braiding all the way down and then twisting at the end. Now release the hair and create another row right on top of that one. Same size and cornrow the hair in the same direction from back to front. Okay, so with the remainder of that hair, we're simply going to create three cornrows going down vertically. So space them out evenly and cornrow braid the hair from top to bottom. When the first side's complete, repeat that exact same braiding pattern on the second side. So two cornrows coming forward and three cornrows going down vertically. All right, so now the fun part, adding our beads. So I just picked up my beads from my local beauty supply store and they came with this really cute beater tool. Clearly this was made for a little kid, but we can make it work. All right, so really simple. Load your beads onto your beater tool and don't fill it up completely. You'll need to fit your braid through that hole, so leave enough space. Next, we loop the braid through that hole, push up on the beads, and that'll help transfer the beads up and onto your braid. Now there's a few different ways you can secure this. I just simply take the end of my braid, fold it up and over that very last bead in the row. Now just grab a gentle elastic and secure around the hair right over that bead so that it can't move. Now just push your beads down to cover the elastic and that's it. Now just repeat that method on all of those braids in the very front. Load the tool with beads, pull the end of your braid through the hole on your beater tool, push up on the beads to string them onto your braid, fold the end of your braid up and over that last bead in the row, secure it with a gentle elastic, and then push the beads down into place to help cover the elastic. Now, when you're done with that first side, repeat the process on the other side. All right, perfect. So last but not least, the back. We're gonna keep this super simple, working one half at a time. We're simply gonna create two chunky flat twists. So split the hair in half, re-moisturize again using the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Detangling Milk and flat twist the section from top to bottom. When I reach the bottom, I wrap it into a bantu knot just to keep it stretched and out of the way. Take your time and do your now release that top half and again just flat twist from top to bottom. Yeah. Wrapping into a bantu knot to keep it stretched and out of the way. Now repeat on the other side, creating two chunky flat twists. So when you're done, you can leave it as is in those bantu knots for super big and wavy hair. But I'm actually gonna stretch these twists out, wrapping them around my head and bobby pinning them in place to make the most of my length. Applying my satin scarf and off to bed. It's the next morning, so I'm gonna release my hair to finish up the style.
And that's it. As you can see, the Pantene Gold Series line left my hair super soft and moisturized. I'm loving this look. And of course, you can wear this anytime. It doesn't have to be just to a festival. I think the style is definitely very wearable and very cute. So right off the bat, I will say that if you are planning on going to a festival with your hair out, just be cautious because number one, if it is really hot, you could end up frying your hair, which is just never a good idea. Like those UV rays are strong and that happened to me two years ago and it was not fun. So just be careful with that. And also, you know, you might get sweaty, your hair might start to revert. So this look can change over time. But the really good thing about this hairstyle is that even if your hair starts to revert, if it starts to get puffy or frizzy, it's not gonna matter because you have all this structure in the front. And as long as you have something framing your face, it doesn't really matter what's going on back here. So that's one of the bonuses of this hairstyle, but I just wanted to let you know that if you are planning on wearing a twist out to a festival, just expect it to look different on your way home. So the other really cool thing about this hairstyle is that you can change it up. So for example, if it does get frizzy, the next day you can retwist it and it'll look like this again. Or you can put it in like a really cute ponytail and just have these little beads you know, hanging down and show that off. You can bring this forward to show this off. Like there's so many things that you can do with this look from having this braided base here. So yeah, I really enjoyed the style. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. And thank you again to Pantene. I really enjoyed testing your products out. This line is really good. And I'm happy that you guys invested in Black Scientist to make it work. All the information for this line is gonna be in the description box below. I don't know if I have anything else to say. I'm out of breath. What else is new? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you give it a try and I'll see you in the next one.